Thank you, and uh, a very good morning to all the dignitaries on the dais. Congratulations to both uh, Tata Advanced Systems Limited, TABL, and of course, Boeing India. My compliments to all of you on reaching this amazing milestone of uh, 100th Apache fuselage from Telangana, from Hyderabad, from India. So I think a good round of applause to the entire team. Like uh, Sukarn pointed out, you know, I was there in all three occasions. Uh, when the late uh, Mr. Parikar broke ground, I was there. Um, when Mrs. Sitaraman was here to inaugurate along with uh, the Chairman Emeritus of, uh, you know, Tata Group, Sri Ratan Tata Ji, I was there too. And today I'm also happy to be there when the 100th fuselage is being, uh, you know, shipped out of Hyderabad. So, uh, privileged, you know, to be a part of this brilliant story because I remember, you know, uh, you know, when this conversation from my perspective started back in 2014-15, my first visit to the United States as a minister, I had uh, the opportunity to meet some of the top management uh, from Boeing side in Washington, D.C. Uh, thereafter, I think parallelly, Tata's were of course talking to Boeing and uh, even the government engagement started around the same time. What happened subsequently was uh, we had a, a large uh, a team of senior executives fly down from the United States to uh, Hyderabad to Telangana. And then subsequently, both Tata, Advanced Systems Limited, Boeing, again, uh, the entire team came scouting, scoping, and then they said uh, they also needed their suppliers not. So the suppliers, a large suppliers meet was held right here in the city of Hyderabad with almost 100 plus suppliers of uh, Boeing. I remember also attending that event. So all in all, today a very comprehensive uh, uh, ecosystem, thanks largely to Tata Advanced Systems Limited and their partnerships that they have forged with Boeing, with Lockheed, with GE and others. Uh, thanks to them that uh, today Hyderabad really encourages, you know, Hyderabad really enjoys a great reputation uh, in the aerospace and defense ecosystem. Uh, I'd be remiss not to mention uh, Mr. Vijay Singh and uh, the entire team of uh, Tassel. Thank you, sir, and uh, thank you to the entire team of TABL. Sukarn, you've been, you know, guiding us from the very beginning. Thank you very much. Salil, uh, he was just telling me, in fact, uh, a story, uh, narrating a story rather. And when the pandemic actually started back in March in India, um, I know Salil was a very worried man because he was worried about uh, what would happen to the manufacturing here and how that would affect uh, the entire supply chain and uh, what would happen to their factories in the US. But I remember a conversation Salil when uh, he just told me he was driving when he spoke to me. I advised him, of course, not to speak on the phone when you're driving, but nevertheless. <laughs> So little, uh, we had a conversation, he said, you know, we have to ensure that the operations go on, we have to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, the manufacturing goes unhindered, while, of course, taking all precautions, etc. So my compliments to you, Salil, and uh, on being steadfast, on being focused, on ensuring, I think, the service deliveries that you've set for yourself, on uh, meeting them as well. Mr. Banmali Agarwala, and, uh, of course, uh, the entire uh, team of uh, U.S. Embassy here, led by Clark. And, uh, Mr. Palam Raju, who is a dear friend and a former union minister. And of course, our local friend here, Masood Husseini, who is always there, you know, uh, telling us what needs to be done and when it needs to be done. Thank you, Masood, uh, for, for being a great friend also. <laughs> Just two or three things I'd like to quickly point out. In fact, uh, the Hyderabad-based uh, aerospace and defense ecosystem has been ranked number one globally in cost effectiveness by the Financial Times, FDI, Future Aerospace Cities Rankings 2020. The Ministry of Civil Aviation has also awarded Telangana as the best state award for 2020 and 2018 for the state with most progressive outlook towards aerospace sector. This only reinforces Sukarn's point about how Telangana is a fantastic place to invest, especially in this sector. Traditionally, as you all know, Hyderabad has been known as uh, the missile hub of India and has been leading the manufacturing and, uh, and has also been the manufacturing and research hub for defense industry since the mid-60s. Hyderabad hosts a dozen DRDO labs and major uh, defense public sector undertakings such as BDL, ECIL, BEL, HAL, etc. besides an ordnance factory also. Each of these institutions has nurtured and supported a large number of local MSMEs in defense manufacturing. In fact, that number is more than 1,000 today, many of whom also support the aerospace supply chain. 
talking about supply chain. In fact, uh, Boeing India and Salil have just introduced me to two Hyderabad MSMEs with whom they have forged a new partnership. Azad Engineering and also Raghu Wamsi. My compliments to these two young entrepreneurs uh, you know, on forging a wonderful relationship and I'm proud that uh, you're from Hyderabad and from Telangana. And thank you Boeing for this opportunity as well. Number of uh, state government initiatives led by our Honorable Chief Minister Shri K. Chandrasekhar Ogaru. You know, uh, legislation such as the TSI pass, which guarantees all clearances within 15 days or on the 16th day becomes an approval by default, uh, a deemed approval. This is unheard of in India. Of course, an infrastructure that is world class, state of the art, and dedicated aerospace and defense parks, and of course, creating an advanced skilling ecosystem. This is one area which, uh, as Jay pointed out, I would also like to request both uh, uh, Mr. Vijay Singh and also Salil and Sukar, um, if you could also, because you know you, you guys have invested significantly in Hyderabad, you continue to invest, you continue to grow along with us as, as our partners. I would really like to see an, see, see a, uh, an ISD like Indian School of Business like setup for the aerospace and defense industry, where we create a world class skilling and learning institution, which will ensure that uh, not only does Hyderabad uh, produce world class employees for your facilities here but also possibly for your facilities elsewhere in the world as well. That is something that I truly believe can happen, provided we collaborate, provided we work together. The government of Telangana, as I pointed out, has identified aerospace and defense as a priority sector, and we continue to grow this space. In fact, we already have uh, uh, nearly seven uh, dedicated industrial parks for this sector. Adi Batla, which is where you are, Nadar Gul, the GMR Aerospace SEZ, the Adani Aerospace Park, and uh, we have a couple more lined up also, uh, which we are going to unveil soon. As I also pointed out, not just research and development and manufacturing, but uh, innovation is another area where I think uh, industries such as aerospace and defense can uh, do a lot in a, in, a, in, a, in a country like India, and more particularly in a state like Telangana. In fact, I remember a program which uh, Boeing had run along with the uh, T-Hub, uh, a corporate innovation program called as Horizon X. As part of this program, Boeing had identified certain set of challenges uh, which needed tweaking, which needed innovation, and eight startups from all over India uh, were finalized and were uh, given an opportunity to work on some challenges. And I do believe the opportunity to do more, the opportunity to innovate more, find more solutions, create you know value is 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 out there for us to be able to take it up. I'm delighted that uh, not just the defense piece of Boeing, but as uh, Salil pointed out, even the civil aviation piece, the vertical fins, will also now be manufactured uh, from your TABL facility, tablet facility here in, uh, in Hyderabad. I'm delighted because it's a, it's a big move and delighted because it's a, it's a very big uh, you know, step ahead. And I do believe that there are a couple more pieces which can also be done from Hyderabad, uh, Salil. One is, of course, I was, I was, like I pointed out, the defense electronics piece, which I think uh, the potential to do uh, more in India uh, is, is uh, up for the grabs, is something that we need to look at closely. The other thing I also, of course, I keep reminding you that uh, we have uh, better infrastructure than Bangalore, so I think you should uh, seriously consider more research and development activity also happen uh, from Hyderabad. Bangalore is already crowded. Bangalore is uh, where you don't know when you'll catch your next flight at what time, so Therefore, um, seriously consider uh, Telangana and Hyderabad for that as well. I think I've said enough. Um, congratulations to the entire team. I look forward to being part of many, many more milestones down the road. Thank you very much for this uh, invitation.